Good day, viewers. My name is the Englishman. I'm here with Colin from XL Media TV. We're going to be chatting about some Caribbean food and his company. Colin, please say hello to the people. What's up? What's up? What's going on, y'all? Everybody all over the world, the United States, the Caribbean, all over. We international. We live right now. We yes. outside. We live. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, um, first of all, we're going to be chatting about some Caribbean food and then your company and what you do. But um, am I correct in saying that you're living in the United States but was born in Trinidad? I'm living in the United States. Um, I'm born in the United States, but my parents, my, my mother, uh, was born and raised in Trinidad, um, Mount Lambert, Trinidad. Right. right. But I grew up in Trinidad as an adolescent, um, months at a time, did little, little, little bit of schooling, but, uh, you know, spent, you know, six months, you know, in, in, in Trinidad on a, on a yearly, yearly basis. So. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. When was the last time you were here? Still have family there. When was the last time you were here? Uh, I was there in 2019. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. So first of all, Let's chat about some food. And can I ask yes. you, what is your favorite Caribbean dish, Colin? Man, my favorite Caribbean dish is roti. I love me some roti. I love I love roti. I love oxtail. I love uh, stew chicken, curry chicken. But I love roti. All right. Okay. Any particular type of roti? Veggie, goat, uh, chicken. chicken. Chicken, uh, shrimp, goat, but hands down, I'm going for a chicken roti. All right, okay, chicken, yeah? Yeah. Right. Right. With the bone. With the bone? With the bone, no boneless, with the bone. Yeah, I, I don't actually like know of one. I want to find, I know that there are places about that do it like fillet chicken, so there's no bone. That's the roti I would love to try. With, oh, yeah. boneless, boneless chicken roti? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't mind trying me some of that. I like to just munch my way through it. Yeah, true, true. With no pausing on it. Just, oh. just... <laughs> well, you got to so be careful with, with the bowl. You got to throw out the bowl, you know. Yeah, okay. All right. What, what skin do you prefer? What, what roti skin? What roti skin do you prefer? Oh, with Dalbury. I don't like bust up shot too much. I'll eat it if that's all, that's all available. I love uh, Dal Dalpri. Right. Right. Okay. And where do you go to get your roti from in the U.S. of A? Well, in the U.S. of A, it's 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 there are many places: Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan. But um, I usually go in Queens, a place um, I think it's Car uh, Caribbean. Cuisine on uh, Rockaway Avenue, Rockaway Rockaway Boulevard in, in Queens. Um, that's where I go. Um, you could also go to Liberty Avenue. You drive down Liberty Avenue. There's roti on the left. There's roti on the right. You could just drive, 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 and you know have your choice. But you know, for me, but the place you go for your I go one. to. The my spot on 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 Rockaway Rockaway Boulevard. There's I'm trying to remember. It's Rockaway uh, Boulevard in 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 Queens, which is pretty close to the Van Wyck Expressway, and it's a uh, Caribbean cuisine uh, restaurant. Right. I'm wondering if it's the same because we have I believe we have a Caribbean cuisine over here. And that tends to be like in the malls, in the shopping malls. I don't know. It's a pretty average, you know, name that people may use. Oh. You know, you know, it's like pizza. You hear people like Joe's Pizza, Tony's Pizza. Right. They're not affiliated to each one another, but they're all over. With that same, carry the same kind of name. Okay. How are you hearing me with all this? We're getting some rain over here. Are you hearing me okay? Yeah, I'm hearing you okay. I'm hearing you okay. Oh, excellent. Excellent. All right, so aside from roti, 
What other dishes do you like and what, where do you get that food from? The other dishes that I do, I, I do like is, um, uh, you have oxtail. I love some oxtail, but I love, I love some, uh, Caribbean soup, some fish soup. And I go to a place called the door there in like, like, like Jamaica, Jamaica Queens on, um, uh, guy, like guy bro Boulevard. Okay. The line's yeah. always out the door. Like the door you go in the door. And, and the line is always out the door. <laughs> and you can get everything Jamaican. You know, my fiance is Jamaican. So, you know, I was introduced to that place. And it's pretty authentic. And you get some nice fish soup, you get that little spice in there because they dropped the scotch bonnet pepper inside. But it's it, it just warms us warms the inside of you and, you and you know she makes it at home but when you know we can't cook at home we'll go run to the door and we'll get us some fish soup don't even leave the parking lot we eating that right in the parking lot wow. yeah yeah wow. yeah sounds good <laughs> yeah but do based on the line based on the line alone you know is 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 good be it the holidays, Thanksgiving, there's a line. Mother's Day, there's a line. The holiday, there's a line. There's, and most of the time, you got to call in. You could go in and order, but you got to call in, place your order. They give you a number, and you get, you know, you go in, give it time for your order to be ready. You go in and get your order, and you're out. But there's guaranteed, hands down, a line. Okay. So, um, in the USA, yeah. do you know, uh, uh, so there's like um, Trinidad restaurants, Jamaican restaurants. Do you know of any other Caribbean islands that have restaurants by you, for example, Guyana or any other islands? Yeah, again, uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, uh, East Flatbush is called uh, Little, Little Caribbean. <laughs> And you have uh, Trinidadian, you have Jamaican, you have Haitian, you have some African um, restaurants, some Barbadian rest restaurants over there. Oh, right. But Queens on Liberty Avenue, you have more Trinidadian and Guyanese restaurants. Have you ever tried any? I've tried Guyanese roti. I've tried some Jamaican roti. But not it's not the same as 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 Trinity Roti. So everyone has their their thing, you know. So you want roti? You want you want that from Trinidad? You want oxtails? You want you know uh, jerk chicken? You know you go to the, that culture to get to get what you want, you know. So everybody has their their nick, and that's who you go to. So can I ask you, pepper sauce, when you're putting it on your food, do you have numb, slight, medium, or pepper? I'm really not a pepper person. Really not a pepper person. So normally when they ask for pepper, even when if I, I eat doubles, I don't get no pepper in it. I'll get like thyme bread and, you know, kuchula, you know, them kind of things in it. But oh. no, 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 no pepper, no, no pepper sauce. No, okay. no. I like to taste my food, but I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't handle the, you know, even like if, if it's jerk chicken, just a mild jerk, jerk sauce, not, not too, too extreme okay. hot. No. But do, do you have pepper sauce in the house? Yes, there's pepper sauce okay. in the house. Pepper so sauce. where do you keep the pepper sauce? In the fridge or the cupboard? In the fridge. In the fridge. Right. Okay. In the fridge. What about tomato ketchup? Fridge or cupboard? Say it again. Tomato ketchup. Tomato that's ketchup. in that's in the refrigerator. That's in the refrigerator. Okay. But I usually don't eat uh, ketchup with any any Caribbean dish I, I eat. Right, right. Yeah, for, for, for fries. Don't eat it. No. Okay. No. All right. So, pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? Here in the United States, it's no, but I've had it when I'm in Trinidad. 
Oh Mario's Pizza, you know, back home, when I when I go back home, there's, again, one spot I'm going for roti, and that's Ali's Roti Shop in uh, St. James. My aunt, my mother's sister lives in St. James, Port of Spain, and we're going right there. The day, the day me and my fiancé went, I already had it in my mind that we're going to Port of Spain, and we're going... So we landed, we said hello, and I said, it's like 12, 1 o'clock. Can we go to Ali's and get some OG? It's like, I got a little something. I'm going to make something for you. I said, no, nah, no, nah, that's for later. We, I, I eat what you made later, but I got to go to Ali's and get that OG. As you landed, yeah? Yes. <laughs> wow. So that's Ali's Rocky Shop in St. James. In St. James, yeah, in Port of Spain, yes. Right at the corner. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hear that it's a nice place to have the monkey. Yeah, but I mean, you know, um, parts of Port of Spain and even Trinidad, you know, you can get street vendors for roti and stuff like that. But I, I want Ali's, Ali's roti, Ali's roti. So Pelau, do you like Pelau? Oh yeah, what? Yes, Pelau, but homemade Pelau is the best. Homemade pilau is the so, best. But the rice. That, that, the matter of fact, that is the only dish I would put ketchup on. But you were sorry? That's the only dish I would put pilau, I mean ketchup on. Ketchup. Is pilau. Oh, ketchup. Oh, right. Yes, yes, okay. yes. But, but I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. Everyone makes it different here in the United States. So if it's not homemade, then I'm but, not going with it. Yeah. But, how do you like the rice and peas? Do you like it dry or sappy? Dry. Dry. Yeah. yeah. Dry. I hear. You. Yeah, but I, but I hear growing you know up, that. that growing up, that was the dish for at least, you know, big big pot, and and like, you ate that for sometimes two three days because it was a big pot. Whoever came home, that was lunch. That was that was dinner. You know, that's what I remember growing up. Pella boy. Okay, all right. So let's talk about the roti. Are you a messy eater? Say it again. Like, if you're eating a roti or yeah. oxtail, for example, are you a messy eater? No, no, no. I can, I can, I can keep. It off my clothes because sometimes when I'm eating roti, I'm driving. All right. So Not got, me. It, got it bunched and <laughs> peel peel the paper, <laughs> eating it. So and you know with the dalfry, you know all the crumbs of the, the the beans, you know, is on you. But but normally no, no, well, no. So I mean, normally cleaning. if I try it, if I try it, you can drive. It's all over me. Yeah, but still clean, still clean, still Not clean. Me. Not me at all. <laughs> so, what, what is your favorite fruit? Fruit? Mango. Mango. Mango is my favorite fruit. Me and my fiance love mango. We could eat two, three, four, you know. But, and what's crazy is family, the whole family is from Trinidad. Yes, I'm born here, but I can't eat coconut. Any mango. Love mango. Right. I, I, I came across this one called Doodles. Oh, my days. Oh, my God. It's so lovely. Doodles mango. Yeah, love it. Um, what about your favorite vegetable? Favorite vegetable? Okra. Okra. Okra by itself, okra in the soup, okra. Favorite drink? Uh, Big Red, Solo Big Red. Nice cold drink, Solo Big Red. You got, you got to have that when you're eating a roti. Like, when it comes to pets, and cats. When it comes to pets? Are you are you a licky face or no licky face? Pets, yeah. No Are you face. licky face or no licky no face? Licky face. Like, no licky right. face. <laughs> no licky face. No licky face. I mean, uh, me personally, I don't mind pets. I don't own a pet, but I don't mind them. But don't lick my face. 
<laughs> that's how they. But that's how they. That's how they express they they their affection. <laughs> yeah, you express it over there somewhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. No, no licky face. No licky okay. face. What does your company Excel Media TV do? Oh, we are online uh, media company um, in photography and videography, and um, we are involved in the community to capture things of the positive things of the community. But we also uh, capture birthdays, weddings, you know, headshots, graduations, uh, baby showers, um, things of that those events. But so we're we're we do. You know, you know, weddings and birthdays, but also we do um, community involved events, you know, capture, write about it, do journalism about it. Um, so we have two parts, two parts of the of the company. Okay. Okay. I, I, I saw one of your videos. It was called, um, I think, Coffee and Cup. Yes, we did that uh, a week ago. Okay. That was very interesting. Do you think something like that could work in Canada? Of course. Um, you know, it gives the, it's an opportunity for law enforcement to come together with the community, community leaders, to hear what they have to say, what's on their mind, have regular casual conversation about issues, questions, thoughts they may want to share with law enforcement instead in a more, instead of a formal setting, you know, tension and so forth. So it's so casual, over coffee, pastries, donuts. We talk, we have conversation. You know, I might tell you about something, you tell us about something. Um, and matter of fact, when we stayed in Tobago, we had a nice conversation with uh, one of the, the detectives in Tobago and um, sharing with him uh, what we do in the United States. And he was like, wow, I uh, think Tobago as well as Trinidad should adapt and adopt those kind of um, events, you know, uh, getting involved in the community with children, playing sports with the children, uh, doing things where it could bring down that wall between law enforcement and the community, you know. So you you bring you you know the police officers come together with the children or the adults and do something that normally you wouldn't do. You would do that with your friends and so forth, but meanwhile you're doing that with a police officer. Because you know most time when you think of a, a cop. You know, uh, you, you you tensing up, you tighten up, and you're thinking, some you know something bad. You're thinking of the worst, the worst possible. But you know, they're people too, and they like food. They like to play games, and they like to sing. They like to dance. They like to do the same thing you and I like to do. But they're in a uniform. <laughs> so, so that policeman um, that you met in uh, was it Tobago? You met in. Yeah, we met the police officers in Tobago. What, what, did he give you an interview? No, we were just on vacation. Oh. And he was just patrolling, walking by oh. uh, two officers. And um, I just took upon myself to approach him and introduce myself as, you know, uh, a, a, a journalist in a media company here on vacation and tell him that support, you know, what he does. In, in Tobago is the same thing as we support what, we, you know, police officers here in the United States and uh, encourage them. And he asked me questions and told him what office, we do with officers here. We play basketball with officers, we baseball with officers, and we bring down that, 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 that wall, that wall of tension between the two. And we bring them, we bridge the border, bridge, bridge that gap between the two. And we capture it. Okay. Obviously, by video and photography. Okay. I think the only thing that I could think of, I was organizing an event like that for the police force, I would be sending 
my best police officers to that event. And all the police officers at Cops, um, Copy and Cops, they looked really, like, really good police officers. But the sad thing is that, in truth, we know that not all police officers are 100% like them. Right. Yes. Like in anything, you do have your, your, good, your good and your bad. And I've gotten to know some police officers on a personal level. And there are some good cops and there are some bad cops. So you can't judge the whole bunch of the apples by one rotten one. That's in any organization, any community, any culture. You can't judge the book by the cover. Um, but when you do find the sincere, true to heart police officer right. that loves their job and for the right, and approaches it with the right, you know, uh, and you know, you 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 raise the ideas to them and and let them go back to headquarters with it and 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 see if it can manifest into something. Um, as I say, the only thing I would like to see is I would like to see some of the cops, maybe one or two of the cops with disciplinary records, also at an event like um, Coffee and well, Cops. But, but, but so Eric, imagine, the public... imagine this: imagine going to a going to a, a cricket event where it's it's uh, high school or, or uh, uh, adults uh, playing cricket with police officers. And see who wins. You know, it's it's again, it's bridging the borders, bridging that gap between the community and the police officers. So now you could you could see a police officer not just because of the badge, but just as a regular person. He goes home. He has a family. They cook. They eat. You know, they they are humans, just like you and I. They just wearing a, a uniform enforcing enforcing the law and by them enforcing the law we get the kind of look at oh they're a bad person they gave me a ticket they arrested me they did this they did the next and yes they're doing their job but they still have to go home to a fam family member you know yeah. to but they they play video games. They 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 eat the same food you and I. They play games. They play cricket. They play baseball. They play basketball. So let's get to know them on a more personal level, but out of the uniform. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I agree. With you. Um, what I was going to say is like obviously like Trinidad has its dark side, but for you, what are the dark sides of the USA. The dark side, you said? Yeah, yeah. Well, for, for you personally, what do you think is bad over there? For me, the dark side in the United States, especially in New York City, is crime. It's crime. And crime of robbery, burglary, uh, rape, uh, assault. Uh, recently, a lot of assault been going on in the subways, a lot of robbery, and some of that is is contributes from uh, the economy. You know, um, this pandemic has caused a lot of people to to react and behave in a in a craze because they've been closed up at home for so long, and you know. You know, that's like putting anybody in a four walls for a long period of time, tension builds up. So they react in the wrong ways when they go outside. You know, and again, people who are not financially stable or don't have the finances like the, another person, you got crime and you got robbery and, you know, burglary and assault to get your money and to take what you have. You know, expensive jewelry, phones, you know, whatever. It's never going to be eliminated, but we do our best to try to control it. But on the plus side, on the positive, where would you recommend a visitor or a tourist to go in New York City? Oh, you have places like, yes, you have Manhattan, 
a whole of Manhattan. But now in Brooklyn, you have uh, Williamsburg, uh, which is is a nice young young person's uh, uh, area. You have Industry City, you have Red Hook. It's more preppy, you know. A lot of a lot of uh, cafes, a lot of lounges, you know, very casual places. Some are on the water, some are in the park. They're playing music in the park. Um, Queens has some 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 areas like uh, uh, Sunnyside and, and Sunset Park. Um, they're they're nice places other than Manhattan in the five 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 boroughs. But Williamsburg is the place. It's it's like Port of Spain. Late at night, that's the place that's popping. Twelve o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. Have things got back to normal, or are they still a bit of a way off? Uh, pretty much, I don't know if we can say we could go back to normal, but it, it's better than it was, you know, 2020, 2021. Mm -hmm. um, yes, we dropped the mandate for masks. Um, there is outdoor and indoor dining. Um, it's slowly coming back because so many business went out of business because they didn't know for two years, they don't know how to maintain movie theaters and some restaurants and, and things, things like that. So um, people went out of business. A lot, you know, people were eating at home and staying home. So everything at home was flourishing. So there's a little bit back to normal. What's, no, what's, what's big now? Because we're getting in, we don't have the nice weather like you, but now that it's getting to warmer weather, everyone's coming outside. So outside activity is big now. So everyone's outside. Right, okay. Okay, I saw um, there was an interview you did with, uh, a, I think she was going up for Mayor um, Nicole Malik oh, okay. Malakokis, right. yes. Did, did, did she win? No, she was did running for mayor, but she did not. She not. She did not win. Um, right. That was one of the persons that we had first had the opportunity to to interview a politician, um, and we saw her. So we took the opportunity to get a quick interview about her, you know, her campaign, um, and from that we went on to the assembly, uh, the assemblyman. Uh, Mosley. Uh, we went on to a couple of other uh, politicians, um, borough presidents uh, of the Bronx and of Brooklyn. And, um, you know, doors have been opened up to interview, you know, other people. We've interviewed uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes. I don't know if you ever heard of him. We have an opportunity to interview him. I said we, we went on from politicians to interview other people and we interviewed um bishop td jakes from the potter's house um when he came to new york city you know we've we've uh interviewed uh papa san okay. you know okay. so we've interviewed you know from politicians to to ministers to artists to but the, the majority of programs i see on your website is about Cause. Yes. Right. That's how we started. It was cause. Okay. And we gravitate and but again here in the United States, we get four seasons. So when winter time comes, there's no car events to be at. So we gravi gravitated to doing other events um that were indoors or you know that we could brace with the cold because with cars you're not bringing them out so you know we like we're not going to be doing nothing for six months so we went into other areas to keep xl media tv alive so when you do the cars is it mostly show cars or do you also do like track events um well here in new york new york we're doing show cars we um it's not too, we did the only track event we've covered was uh Formula E. Formula E is like IndyCar, and Formula E is uh cars that's run by ele electricity. How did you find it? It's new, it's different, you it's know. Quiet, <laughs> quiet, yes, it's quiet. So, 
you know, it's it's the only excitement is from fans and you know the the announcer. There's there's no sound from the cars. <laughs> but are they very fast? Because those Teslas, those Teslas are fast compared to gas production cars. Yes. So are fast. those Formula E cars like really fast as well? Yes, because it's it's light in body and it's high in torque. So it is fast and it's torque right away. There's no gear to change or anything like that. So yes, they are they are fast. So okay. trying to capture it with a camera, well, by the time you click, it, it already, you know. Passed. How how many laps do they do? Um, they do one, two, three, four, maybe about five. Five for, yeah, for the track that they set up in New York City, they do about five, five, about five laps, and then they switch um, because right. these cars are not uh, uh, generated to to recharge itself. So they switch cars and they continue to race. Right. Yeah, because four being a one, that's like about say fifty, sixty laps. You know. Yeah. So, but New York, but for New York City, it's the the track is a little more condensed. It's a little bit smaller, so right. it's not because we don't have that much land like like other places, right. you know, okay. for 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 a track. And what they've been doing uh, formerly for the last three years has been in Brooklyn. So there's no land, open land in Brooklyn like that. It's not like Long Island, New Jersey, and stuff like that. Electric cars are they starting to get popular in new york yeah they're pretty getting popular we just also covered the new york city international auto show um which ends uh the 24th which was uh yesterday um we just covered that and we covered um a lot of the electronic um electric vehicles like kia there's a new one called van fast which is a vietnamese uh vehicle um you have subaru that just went electric um, so we've test drived uh, a car in, in from Hyundai, um, the the Icon Five. Um, so yes, now you have the electric scooter, electric bikes. You know, yes, yeah. and it's helping the the environment. So you know, New York is 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 big on space. So there's not a lot of parking space. Parking is at a premium. So if we could if we could condense it with all these little cars that's electric, it's better for the environment. So if a member of the public wanted to get in touch with Excel Media, how do they do that? Well, one you could Google us, just Excel Media TV. We come up the first hit, but we are on YouTube, we are on Twitter, we are on Instagram. On Instagram is uh, XL Media TV on the website is www.xlmediatv.com. Um, we're on Twitter, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram. Um, we're on some other sites. I, so, some sites I don't even know. Sometimes I Google the company and I find we're on, been promoted by another company. So we're pretty much the first hit once you Google us. Go to Google and type in XL Media TV. We're we're there. Let me get it. So I've just subscribed to you on your YouTube page, and I'm going to encourage um, the viewers watching. Please subscribe as yes. well. I'm also going to subscribe to you on Instagram now. Give a shout out to all your people um, that you want to say hi to. That you your sponsors, your supporters. Give them a shout out, please. No problem. Like to shout out all our fans and supporters for for all the years of following us and supporting us and liking our pages, liking our pictures and our videos. I thank you, appreciate it. Thank you for all our photographers and our team members that's on the team, our journalists, um, everybody. Again, subscribe to our channel. Don't miss out on the videos. Don't miss out on, on any of our photos and our, our media coverage. We got a lot more for you, and you know, you already know what we're going to say coming to you live on XL Media TV. <laughs> Colin, I want to really thank you for your time today. It was a I want to thank you for this opportunity, show. Eric.
Listen, don't pop number two. It's a pleasure having you. Bless up. And when I come to Trinidad, I got to come look for you because we got to interview you now. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Dude, I okay. like that. Yeah. Exactly. And we got to try some of that. Um, that Was it Ali's Roti as well? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. We, we do the interview here. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cool. Exactly. Listen, you have a great day. You too. See you soon. In fact, what are you going to eat? What are you looking forward to eating later? Say it again. What are you looking forward to eating later? Well, I've been changing my diet, so most likely fish. Either some fried fish, steamed fish. Trying to okay, stay light, light on the, on the, on oh. the dishes. I don't eat roti too often, but just trying yeah. to stay light on the dishes. Yeah. So hopefully some yeah. some steamed fish and some okra. Yeah. Well, you enjoy coming. All right. Thank you have you a blessed so much, day. Eric.